Hi guys, it's Jay Weston here from Hyperfocal Design. Um, just um, going to introduce you to a new product I'm working on. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be a pretty challenging one, so I thought I'd sort of do a, a video blog and uh, making of. Um, so this is um, this is going to be a, a time lapse HDR sky set. Um, this is being shot in. Hallett Cove, South Australia. This is where I shoot all of my sky textures and HDR skies. I'm kind of lucking out with uh, this current one, but um, since this is just my first test shot, uh, chances are pretty low that it will be usable, but I can always cross my fingers. Um, so yeah, this is this is based heavily off of this, this project. The time-lapse sky is going to be based very heavily off of uh, what Paul Dabovac did about 10 years ago. Um, he wrote a publication, I think, called Direct Capture, um, Direct HDR Capture of the Sun and Sky, and uh, did a pretty awesome rendering of uh, the Parthenon using that time-lapse set. Because um, that was shot so so long ago, the, the resolution from a single, uh, single fisheye frame is you know it was pretty low so when the d800 came out with almost medium format resolution i thought um i thought i'd give it a shot um so i've just followed you know followed a lot of what um paul did um got some of the same equipment i'm using a eight mil sigma fisheye to give me that 180 degree view of the sky uh, the nikon d800e and um, I've hooked up a, a promote control to that. So that's that's the setup there. It's yeah, it's sitting on a it's sitting on a 360 precision head for no real reason at the moment. Obviously, I don't have to take a series of shots with it. Um, yeah, and I don't have to stitch anything together. But it's a sturdy tripod head, so I've just got it sat on there. Um, promote control there is just sitting on the hot shoe mount. Um, and I've got the USB and cable controller um, hooked up so I can shoot at maximum frame rate. As you can see, we've got a, a good 180 degree field of view with very little blocking the horizon. Um, and yeah, what else can I say? Um, next one will probably be a, a technical bit more of a technical video sort of outlining the setup um, you know the filters shutter speeds uh, the promote controls um, settings and, and all that sort of stuff so yeah um, stay tuned and I'll um, certainly uh, share as much as I can about the whole process and and uh, any any renderings I do with any test shots um, if you're keen to follow along should be able to subscribe to my YouTube channel or, or the blog and um, you know if you're uh, in film or architectural visualization or, or something like that and you're you're keen to do some some testing um, certainly shoot me an email and um, might be able to hook you up with some preliminary um, footage so yeah thanks for watching and uh, catch you next time cheers